Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at the Valiverse Action Force Desert Warfare Republic Guard. And we're also going to be looking at the Desert Gear Kit that go together. But if you look in the back, you'll see that there's one that's already assembled. You're also going to see a Desert Rat, so we'll compare the colors to that figure. And then over here, we have the Dark Side Exclusive. So... These are two different figure, uh, one figure, one gear pack. So basically, if you want one figure, you have to buy the figure for $22, $23, and then the gear pack for $13. It costs more than an actual figure, like the Stork Side Exclusive. And it's been a huge complaint of mine, so I gotta talk about that. Today was Joe Fest, and during Joe Fest at the uh, Valiverse section he talked about it and he's actually lowering the price of the figures where a regular guard is going to be 20 bucks your packs are going to go down to e to 12 bucks which I think is actually really huge he also announced that one of the reissues that he's going to be doing of a specific guard I don't remember which one it is um, that you're not going to have to buy the gear pack um, and the figure he's going to sell them together which has been my biggest complaint this whole time i don't have a problem with selling this figure and the gear pack i think you should but i also believe that the figures should come fully assembled considering they're meant to go together i will never get off that because once again this guy was pretty much an army builder he was fully assembled same with steel brigade but today we're going to discuss this guy we're going to quickly go over the articulation um, and some other stuff but we're basically going to compare him to the Desert Rat, see how he fits, see if the colors work good, um, and then we'll go from there. So anyway, uh, let's just wrap this up. Let's get to it. If you do like the content, take a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. So you're notified every time I do drop a Valorous video, which I have done many, many, many. Contrary to what people believe, I am very objective in my reviews. All right, so here we go. Here is the Republic Guard. This is the Desert Trooper, and this is everything that he comes with. So you get a basic figure that looks like th the majority of the, the Valiverse. There's three and a half bucks, so lots of repaints. Here's everything that he comes with. And he comes with a different face. He has four sets of hands, and the new ones, well, the later ones do come with a gun. Uh, that is all because of one guy. Only one guy complained about that. And thank God he was able to get that to change. But one guy made that change for everyone that orders these. And then you get the basic stand. Again, I hate stands. I'm not even going to open this. What is nice about it, it has four different points. Four different, four different pegs. Along with a slit for the file card. And it says action force. But it's big. It's bulky. I hate it. I hate stands in general. Not even going to open it. So quickly we'll take a look at... The submachine gun that he comes with. It is a nice looking weapon. It has a porthole for the blast effects. Uh, again, this guy's just going to be running around. Does not have a removable magazine. But all in all, it is a nice little weapon. And I agree, they should. A figure like this should always come with a weapon. So this was a nice course correct. The multiple hands that we've already gone over before. We have the cupping hands. The trigger hands, the punch hands, and then we have the thumb wrestling hands. In the figure, once again, is a basic figure. You have the belly dancing, belly dancing cut rather than the ab crunch, which most GI Joes have. You have your T pose. Which, once again, my complaint is I feel that the top piece tends to get in the way. I do like the suits. This looks more like a military suit, a matter of fact. Since I have rock and roll kind of just sitting there, it is very much like an operator suit that, um, that they wear in the military now. Pinless joints. Nice and smooth. I don't feel any issues here. So far, nothing needs to be heated. It is also... 80 degrees here in Michigan, but for the most part, the new figures feel really nice. Drop down hips, there's a nice 
Jean-Claude Van Damme. As I've mentioned before, not a big fan of drop-down hips. They do cause a problem. But if you want to get a drop-down, do the, the Jean-Claude and then bring it down. And then just move it back up. These really don't move. I don't really get too much. I feel like it's going to break if I pull it too much. It's got the thigh swivel. Double knee joints. Boot cut. Ankle rocker. So once again, everything seems nice and smooth. Whatever plastic he decided to start, or whatever plastic the company that they're using, factory, whatever, after special deployment series they started using, it is a wonderful plastic for figures. The blowback is an almost perfect action figure. Um, and that's not even talking about the detail, just moving it. So let's try it with the hand here. I'm going to pop this one off here. So, without heating it, it popped off really nicely. No problem. Just take a thumb wrestling hand. I'm going to pop it on here. And they did make a different... They, I feel like they made a change. So, it pushes in a lot easier. So, if you don't push it in all the way, it kind of hangs out. This one doesn't do that. So, it looks really nice. So, there you go. There's the figure. Now quickly, let's look at the gear pack and everything that you get with the gear pack. So, with the gear pack, you're going to get the vest. You can get the vest. Mushroom. Now, how easy do these ones pop in? They have made some changes over time. So, some of them seem to work better. Some are not so good. If you... If you are struggling, especially with Series 1, where you're trying to get this in, people can continue to try and warm stuff up. Do not warm it up completely. What you do is you warm up the whole side, but you want to keep the mushroom side. You don't want that to be too warm, because you want to just pop that in. If everything is warm, it just kind of molds together. So anyway, warm this side up. And then pop it in. I'm not gonna put this. I'm not gonna put this on. It just takes too long. We already have one that's already assembled. Here is your. Um, yeah, I lost lost track of what I was saying. <laughs> uh, here is your uh, the belt. Got a couple magazines here. You got some vice grips slash knives. I believe that's a flashlight. You got the holster here, so it looks really nice. What you do have to do is a pop and swap. So you're gonna drop it, heat the figure up. You really want to pop this off and put this on. So what I am gonna say right now is this is not my figure. This is given to me by someone else, and this is actually on backwards. <laughs> so while I've been sitting there, before someone points out that it's on backwards, Greg had it on backwards. Not me. I know I get called out on a lot of things. What he does come with in this gear pack, this out here, is you're going to get the M4. This is the same one that comes with Desert Rat. Removable magazine. There's no extra magazines. You do also have this satchel or whatever you want to call it, fanny pack, whatever. You got the med kit that goes on the leg. You kind of have to slide this up. Probably heating it up is going to be best. You get the helmet. It has the night vision goggles. Now you can have them either in the up position. If you do it like this, or you can flip it down. Now, I don't really use the helmets too often. Just not a big fan of them. And then they also have your communications here. So it's going to cover the, you know, cover the ears. And then you have a bandana. I'm sure someone will correct me on what it's actually called. Again, it looks nice. Everything is designed pretty well. And then you also get two blast effects along with the antenna. Which, let's be honest, in 20 years, that will be the thing that is worth the most amount of money because it will be long gone. 
You also have the sidearm that just goes in the holster like so. But all in all, this looks really nice. Look at the M4, got a nice scope on it. Two different colors, so it just gives you a different feel, which I definitely do like. But all in all, nice looking weapon. Here's the satchel. It looks nice. Listen, if I if I if I said if I called it something wrong, they just call me out. It doesn't really bother me. <laughs> Alright. And the vest here, this is where you're gonna put the antenna. I'm not gonna put it in because I'm not gonna open this up. You got the two extra magazines. Did I say it didn't come with extra magazines? If I did, it was grinding through my head. It's been a long day. Two extra magazines that fit inside of this. You got the knife here. They all do pull out. Usually the magazines are a little bit more difficult to pull out. But really you only want to pull out the magazines. There you go. If you're doing some sort of shots, some pictures, photo, photo, uh, photography. Otherwise you really don't want to running around but they do hold in they stand really nicely here you have his mic or yeah his microphone that's going to run all the way back to his radio all right so let's take a look at the figure fully loaded up fully armored up and i definitely do still have an issue now my biggest problem is the m4 and i had the problem with the desert rat figure too is that the um, the trigger guard here is small and it's really hard for the fig for the finger to fit in properly and it, you really have to kind of extend the finger too but it doesn't really fit all the way in there it's really compact it feels like it wasn't designed properly just something minor nothing that I'm going to get overly overly mad about. I do not like the cupping hand. I would rather take one of these hands. Where is it at? Oh yeah, it's in his hand. I'd rather take this hand here, open it up, and then it's actually like he's grabbing the weapon. So we'll throw it in here really quick. So I will show you. Here, when I try and put the finger in, so the finger goes, it stretches it out. But again, it has a hard time going in there because the trigger guard seems to be just too small. But I would rather take this hand here, open it up, and then grab the weapon. Now this one's a little bit harder because there's a piece over here. But if you do this with the figures, I think it looks more natural because it just slowly closes around it like they're actually holding it. These cupping hands, I think, are absolutely useless. I know people turn them into salute hands, but I think they're trash. All right, so there he is. That's without the vest. One of my biggest complaints is these vests are very big. They do get in the way if you want to start making a lot of different types of shooting pictures. So at times here, what you're going to have is this may just be in the way because in real life, a vest like this is going to move have some pliability to it. In this world that we live in, um, you don't have that. What you have is a soft plastic that just gets in the way, the knife gets, gets in the way and everything. But the question is, how does this look with our desert rat? Sorry about this, rock and roll seems to have fallen. You guys watched it though. Again, I don't use stands. I don't like stands. Stands are awful. I try not to use sticky tack. All right, so looking at these two, you can see they use the same color. Now, supposedly they're supposed to be, they have a squad leader. That would be this desert rat. I'm not a fan of desert rat, so he's never going to be my squad leader, that is for sure. But the colors do work really well. Now, if you have dusty, for G.I. Joe, it's not going to work that well because his colors are completely different. As the dark side figure, again, you can fit it in. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't really bother me because I've played G.I. Joe, I've watched G.I. Joe. You're always going to have these mixing and matching of different colors and different things like this. But all in all, the figure is actually really nice. All of these figures 
are really nicely made. The plastic is really good. I enjoy them. You know, there's a lot of detail in it. Don't have too many issues with the paint. I will say this, with this leg that he has, whether it be this one here, and or the, the Dorkside exclusive one, which has the, um, uh, <laughs> the shoelaces that you can see, it is much better than the leg that comes with the Desert Rat. It does not have a boot cut. I've mentioned this before. If Hasbro, G.I. Joe would have taken away the boot cut, people would have went up in arms saying that, you know, they don't even care. This here, even though it is not a complete deal breaker, because this guy also has it, it actually causes a lot of issues when trying to get them in dynamic poses because you can no longer move the leg. Also, the way that this sits, I feel like you don't get the same articulation in the ankle. So it kind of takes away from it. Again, it's not a deal breaker because in actuality, I like the aesthetics of this better. But I like the, but I hate the fact that, well, you've lost a bunch of uh, articulation. But all in all, if you want them to go with this Desert Rat, you can. It also works where you can pop the head off here and throw... Well, you can't really throw this one on because it's clearly the black the black guy. Now, according to Hasbro, they really would not have cared, right? Um, <laughs> but all in all, I think this, with the hood on it like this, it just is a much better looking figure. Uh, so if these were mine, I would throw that on here. Throw the white one on here, throw the black one on over there. That way you have two figures that are just regular old troops. Because frankly... I'm not a fan of this figure at all. All right, that's it. I don't know. Is there anything more? Do I need to talk any more? I think we all know I've covered every single one of these figures. I don't think there's anything more to really go over. All right, so there you have it. That's the Desert Warfare uh, Republic Trooper. Again, I think it is a wonderful army builder. Again, I have a few issues with the M4. And it's basically the trigger guard. I actually like the way the M4 looks. Uh, all in all, it is a really good figure. My Again, my biggest gripe has been, if I want this figure, I also have to buy the gear pack to go with it. And then now actually costs more to get a figure. Maybe, maybe he's heard. And now he's going to start combining them a little bit more like the Dorkside exclusive. Which I would love because if I'm going to buy this figure... I'm going to want it to be completely um, completely armored up, completely geared up the way that it's supposed to be. But as I mentioned before, and I know people will jump down my throat on this, I understand the importance of having just a regular army building figure for what will be now $20. Great price. Hands, a weapon, and a stand. Again, I don't like stands, but again, it is something that's given to us. And I don't need that many hands. That's just my opinion. Um... And then to get the gear pack, which actually will also be a dollar less at $12. Again, great to give back to the fans. I'm really happy about that. Um, it just shows that someone is listening. And as I mentioned before, when you, do when you do reach out, you're talking to the owner. Unlike if you're reaching out to other companies, it's a corporation. Listen, you, they're n you're never talking to the head honcho over there. So good idea. Hopefully we start getting fully armed, fully geared up troopers because that would make me want to pick, pick up more. Also, before people say, well, hey, I want the, you don't understand. I do understand. You want the $20 figure? That's cool. You want the gear pack to put on your Joes or Marvel Legends? I don't care. Like, that's awesome. You can have that too. Give us three options because I don't want to keep buying all the extras, but that's just me. I'm not a businessman. I know why you do it. Because people will buy it. I've seen how many of these people, how many of these, you know, people are buying. They post them. Guess what? They're posting this figure along with the gear pack. He's a smart man. He knows exactly what he's doing. He got you guys. So anyway, that's it. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here because I've gone on for too long. You guys know who the hell I am. I've talked, you know, you get me going. I'm going to go on a rant. 
a ramble. Monday Night Toy Ramblings. You know all about it. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Before I leave, you know the social media is Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. A Punk with Toy. Facebook group page. Punks with Toys. Because once you join, you're a punk with toys. But before you leave, take a second. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. So you're notified every time I do drop a Valiverse video. Because you want an honest opinion. You know who's going to give it to you. But before you leave, don't go anywhere. Take a check, take a look at this Valiverse figure. And here's the playlist of all the figures that I've reviewed.